good evening uh, this is the assignment of compiler design and today is the 6th december and we are presenting the assignment for the compiler design and this is the group member details and the group member details name is kritidipto ghosh uh, roll number 95 biplav bhattacharya roll number 110 and amrita odhikari roll number 135 apurva patra roll number 123 so our topic is lexical analysis and parsing and we are going to present on this topic so the first question is for the kritidipto so i will request kritidipto to continue his question kritidipto okay so the first question says which of the following de derivations does a top down parser use while parsing an input string the input is assumed to be scanned in left to right order so the correct answer is ll uh, leftmost derivation uh, that is because uh, in a ll parser what happen in a top down parsing what happens is we start with the first symbol and then all the possible uh, that is all the uh, productions that are available is checked with the uh, with the with the current uh, symbol from the input and uh, the input is being uh, analyzed from left to right so that is the two l stands the first l stands for basically left to right and the second l stands for leftmost derivation so that is a uh, ll parser and that is the right answer so this is the explanation yeah. next question so next is my question and which one of the following is a top down person and this question was appear in gate 2007 and the options are recursive descent or operator precedence or lrk parser or L lrk parser so the answer is recursive descent parser and the explanation is on the next side that is recursive descent is a top down parsing technique that construct the parse tree from top and the input is read from left to right and it uses the procedures for every terminal and non terminal entity so this parsing technique recursively parses the input to make a parse tree and here is an example that Uh, the grammar with the input string C A D and here is uh, some rules that is A tends to C A D A tends to A B or A and here I am starting from the star symbol C A D and for the A there are the two option that is one is A B and another is A and when I am taking A B as an input then I am getting this but this is not match for this input string so we have to backtrack or we have to recursively call this another definition that is a tends to a and when i am getting this a tends to a then the input is matched with the string so in this uh, so this is how the recursive descent parsing is work from left to right and top to bottom so this is the answer of this question so next i am requesting uh, apurva patra to continue his slide Thank you, Vipla. Good evening to my respected teachers and my friends. I will continue the next question, uh, which appeared in year 2019. The question is, which one of the following kinds of derivation is used by LR parsers? Four options are there. First is first option is rightmost. Second option is leftmost in reverse. Third option is rightmost in reverse. and final option is leftmost i said the correct answer is option c that is the rightmost in reverse the the explanation of my answer is the parsing is classified into two parts that is first is top down parsing second is bottom up parsing top down parsing is based on leftmost derivation whereas bottom up parsing is depend on reverse rightmost derivation a general shift reduce parsing is lr parsing is bottom up parsing where l stands for scanning the input from left to right 
and R stands for constructing a rightmost derivation in reverse. So the correct answer is option C, that is the uh, rightmost in reverse. And the next question I would request it to Amrito to continue. Uh, thank you, Apurbo, and um, and my other fellow uh, other fellow mates, and of course our respected uh, teacher, uh, Som, uh, Sir Somnath Roy Choudhury Sir. To uh, I would uh, uh, thank you to give me uh, this uh, opportunity to uh, say uh, to to present this uh, presentation. Uh, my 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 question is the number of tokens in the following C, C, state, C statement is the uh, state, statement is print f infinite comma i equal to percentile d m percent i equal to uh, percentile a, uh, x comma i uh, comma m percent i so uh, first of all uh, what is token uh, token is a kind of uh, lexical unit a particular keyword or uh, sequence input uh, input character denoting an identifier or others so here we see the um, uh, see, here we see the correct answer. The correct answer is answer C. Uh, uh, please uh, explanation. Uh, please go exp explanation side. Hello. Yes. Uh, the explanation is in a C uh, in a C source program. The basic element recognized by the compiler is the token. A token is a source program uh, takes that the compiler doesn't break down into component elements there are six types of token identifiers keyword constant operators string literal and other separators there are total uh, 10 tokens in the above printf statements below are the tokens the uh, the tokens are uh, i equal to percentile d m percent i equal to percentile x uh, uh, i uh, m person and i bracket and semicolon uh, these are uh, these are the tokens of the ever program thanks thanks thank you okay okay thank you all uh, very good presentation